Three days after inaugurating Basile de Maifai as the country's fifth president, Senegalese Prime Minister Ousmane Sonko unveiled his government at a press conference held at the presidential palace on Friday, April 5th. It consists of 25 ministers and five secretaries of state, a government largely made up of new faces and novices at the ministerial level. The government includes four women who have been the portfolios of foreign affairs, fisheries, family, youth and culture. The list includes a number of names from the President and Prime Minister's party, PASTED, which has been at the forefront of confrontations with the previous government in recent years. Birame Soleye Diop inherits the Ministry of Energy, Oil and Mines, a strategic sector in a country that is used to start producing oil and gas in 2024. Malik Nidiaye has been appointed to the Ministry of Infrastructure and Musa Bala Fofana, the Ministry of Town and Country Planning. Basiru Dumaifai, himself, never elected to national office, won a resounding victory in the presidential elections, presenting his project as a rupture with a system that has been in place for too long in his eyes. The last three years of Bakisal's presidency were marked by a tug of war with Pastef and Usman Sonko and by riots that left dozens dead and hundreds arrested. Since then, Senegal has faced a number of major challenges, including an official unemployment rate of 20%. On Friday, Usman Sonko said the government priorities will include jobs for young people, a reduction in the cost of living and the protection of human rights, as well as accountability, economic sovereignty and development, the consolidation of national unity and the strengthening of security.